Hello, I'm Corey Wolf, Director of Offensive Security here at RISC 360, and this is our series on AI and cybersecurity. When we last met, we gave a brief history of AI and machine learning and how we got to the point that we're at today. As we work this, through the series and understand the differences between how attackers are using AI, how defenders are using AI, and where the industry goes from here, we need to understand some basics. It doesn't get any more basic than training a model. Chat GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Model training can be a very complex process, but we can break it down into some high level areas. It all begins with obtaining the data and then normalizing the data. Now, if you think about an Excel spreadsheet, for example, say you have 50 rows, but all the data is in different columns and nothing is normalized. That's not a big issue for say 50 rows in an Excel sheet, but when we're trading models, we need millions, billions, or even trillions of rows of data in order to train our model. This can be quite the feat. But once we obtain the data and then normalize it using some fancy math, pre-calculus and some calculus in this case, we can start to train a model. A very common way to train a model is to say, here's 80% that we know the answers to. We want answers for the other 20% and we ask the model to provide the answers for that other 20%. Now, since we already know the answer for that remaining 20%, we can calculate a loss function. So how correct was the model when we asked it for those answers? We calculate that loss function and we say, we think we can do better. We adjust some parameters in the model, we run it again, and we continue to do that until we've minimized the loss function. So basically, how correct are we in our model? The model is considered trained when the loss function has been minimized. It'll never be zero, but we want to do the best that we can to get as close as possible. Just like people, machine learning algorithms will never always be correct. Once we've minimized that loss function, we can consider our model trained. We can then move on to deploying the model, which we'll talk about next. Thanks for watching. For more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on LinkedIn and visit us at risk360.com to learn how we can help your business succeed.